Hey guys, how's it going? Fluffy Man here with the Pizza Department. Today I'm going to be talking about barns and how we can fully utilize them. Some of the things I'm going to be covering in this video is the benefits of using meat over grain, also the fertilizer and what kind of benefits it brings to our base, and how we can use that fertilizer to benefit our other buildings. So the first thing I want to talk about with the barn is its ability to produce fertilizer. So fertilizer is very helpful, but we'll focus on the food production for now. So when it comes to farmland and greenhouses, we are able to produce up to nine food per fertilizer. And with that nine food, we can do one of two things. We can use it with barns to further increase our production of fertilizer and meat. Or we can use some of that food in our cookhouses to make food as we need it. So when it comes to the cookhouse and meat and crops, crops a little bit cheaper to cook, costing two to make four, and the meat costing three meats to make five. However, with the barn producing that extra fertilizer, you are getting more value because you're able to make more crops that you can fertilize them. Also that fertilizer is going to come into play with our other buildings. I'll explain that here in a few minutes. So overall, meat's going to be the better choice here. However, down the road, if you need to switch over to crops to cook for a little bit, that's perfectly fine, especially if your meat department needs to catch up a little bit. And eventually you should be able to do both without too many repercussions, maybe a hit to your workforce, but later on that won't be as big of a deal. So here's where your barns are really going to shine producing meat and fertilizer. So with the fertilizer, at the cost of three, you can turn it into one oil. And with that oil, you got two uses with it. You can use it to fuel your vehicles or you can use it to produce bullet with the help of steel and the reason this is important is as the days get long excuse me as you go further into the game you're gonna start getting hit by bigger and bigger waves so you're gonna need more and more ammo to deal with those so fertilizer is gonna be that key renewable resource you need to really keep your bullet flow going Eventually on the map you will run out of oil, it might take a while, but that fertilizer is what's going to keep you afloat. So this is the run I'm using for my tutorial playthrough, and I just kind of want to give you guys an idea on how my base functions, utilizing the barns, and how we're able to keep up with mobs. So, just the first thing, we've got a lot of storage. As you can see here, we've got a lot of meat. And here's the actual resources. So a lot of meals were good to go for up to 12 days. We got additional food to cook with. We've also got some crops if we need them. And for food production, I've got five greenhouses and five farm plots underneath, all producing with fertilizer. For employment, for my cookery, I've got 36 food workers and they're currently utilizing the meat my farms have 25 workers in the first 15 in the second we'll go ahead and just go through each thing one by one to show you i'll also show you my factory production as well so let's start with the cookery so with these 36 workers this is pretty well near instant so as you can see we're at normal speed let's go ahead and move over to the barn so 25 workers the barn is moving pretty quickly i guess we can go and check out our second barn of 15 employees so as you can see this one's not as quick but it's still moving pretty good to get the food production out now for the first factory so here you see we're utilizing our fertilizer to make oil which by the way i forgot to show you guys as you can see with this process chain, we've got a lot of fertilizer being made. So this isn't an issue running the farms and chemical plant at the same time. 
it's getting produced at a pretty good rate. We've got 41, so our vehicles and ammo aren't going to have issues. So this is my weapons factory. As you can see, one steel and one oil makes four. And it's moving at a pretty reasonable rate. Looks like we're getting four ammo in just under a little hour. So pretty good there. And that's pretty well how my base is functioning, utilizing the barns to get the food and fertilizer. We've got plenty of food. We're going to last for a very long time. Used a lot of ammo on the prior night, but as you can see, I prioritized it and we're going to be built that in no time. Something else I would like to mention too, we are currently supporting a population of 526 with that, with this. Granted, some of them are children. It's still a pretty good sized population and we're really not utilizing that much of our workforce for food. I hope this video helped you guys understand barns a little bit better and will help you in your future builds to utilize them. This has been Fluffy Man with the Pizza Department. If you have any questions you'd like answered or maybe you need a guide to help you better understand things, feel free to leave a comment and I will take a look at that and if it's possible I will get it made for you. We'll catch you guys in the next one. If you like this video please like and subscribe. Have a good day.